Hi guys, welcome back. Uh, today we're looking at Gibson hollow body style guitars and all the uh, little tips and tricks that you can do to maintain it electrically. Um, so first off, you need your switch cleaner. We're still using the service cell switch cleaner. Fantastic. Um, um, you can get that from, from any online or any hardware yep. store, electrical store really, I guess, really. Um, so how does the hollow body differ from the, the Les Paul that we just looked at? Well, we've got the F hole here, okay, which mm -hmm. is a... Uh, an opening where dust will get in. Yeah. Okay. And I feel probably more than any other style of guitar, these pots will deteriorate if they're not regularly maintained. Right. Okay. okay. Um, they're a bit trickier to get to. Okay. It's somewhat guesswork trying to find <laughs> okay. the exact point in the um, the pot there. Yeah. So what you can do is is take the uh, one of the knobs off. Yeah. You have to be fairly careful doing that but they yeah. do they might be really tight but they do they should come off okay sure okay now although on this type of guitar and finish the uh service sole won't harm the finish it's best just to protect where you're not going to be yeah it'll fair just enough. you know be quicker to clean up and we can just squirt round there okay and it will find its way into the shaft of the pot perfect okay. and like you say this isn't harmful to the guitar no it just Wipes off clean, okay? Fantastic. Um, similar to the Fender style as well as the Les Paul style guitars we've been looking yep. at. Just give it a good turn, work, okay. work the switch cleaner work into the, switch, the pot. Yep, sure. And you do that on each, okay? Perfect. Um, if you have to, you know, if you feel the switch is a bit dirty, yep. you can also get in there, okay? Perfect. But again, how that's contacting, it's not going to make much of a difference, but it's, you know, readily maintained. It's not a it's, sure. it's not a harm it's, to do that. It's better to be safe, I guess. Indeed. Perfect. Um, brilliant. So, so anything else, any other pointers that you, that you would recommend that, that are easily serviceable electronically um, on this style thing? No, I think it's as simple as that. Pretty much done. Um, I found with, yeah, 335s, Sheratons, mm -hmm. Casinos, they often are suffering from, right. from crackly pots. Okay. Okay. And one thing maybe to, you know, to add, um, and you could say this for all style of electrics and pots, yeah. You know, the more they're used, in some respects, the better. Okay. Because they're getting turned and moved. Sure. You'll also notice that there's a bit of a crackle there, so it's time to get the switch cleaner out and sure. give it a clean up. Absolutely. And as we said before, this switch cleaner stuff, you know, you can get crackly pots on, on an amp, on, on, on a pedal. On anything. True. I mean, to be Absolutely. honest, I guess on a pedal, in my experience, that's always been pretty common because obviously they're on the floor, yep. it's dirt, you know, if Absolutely. you're playing regularly and you're gigging regularly. It's, uh... Yeah, so switch cleaner should really be in your... Talking. In your gig bag, absolutely. Perfect. Okay, well, I think that's that's pretty much us for, uh, for this kind of guitar. Um, so, uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you next time.